Hey everyone, it's Sam here from Minimal Desk Setups. If you haven't heard of us, we started as a small desk setup inspiration page being run out of our bedrooms to almost 120k Instagram followers and now our office in Melbourne, Australia. After reviewing thousands of the best desk setups on the internet, I'm super excited to show you my very own minimal setup. I'll be taking you through everything from color selection and cable management to my favorite minimal accessories. And make sure to stick around to the end because I'll be revealing my number one productivity hack that helped us build MDS into a thriving business. Let's start with the theme of the desk setup. As you can see, I've gone for a light theme with matching white peripherals and a light gray desk pad on top of a lighter colored wooden desk. In the past, I've had a dark desk setup, but I think the brighter combinations with the plants give the overall space a calm vibe. My desk is next to the window, so it gets a lot of natural light. So that allows me to include a few plants in my desk setup. Now let's dive into the setup. First, for the standing desk, I'm rocking the Omni Desk Pro with their Wildwood Collection tabletop. It's 183 centimeters wide and 73 centimeters deep, which is a perfect size because it gives me ample space for my keyboard and monitor while also leaving enough room if I want to write or read at my desk. I love how sturdy it is and how quiet the motors are. For my monitor arm, I'm using the Omidesk Arc Pro monitor arm. It's the best monitor arm I've used to date. It's very stable and has a USB pass-throughs and nice cable management features which lets you hide your monitor power cables and display cables. For the monitor, since the start of MDS, I've been using the Xiaomi 34-inch gaming monitor to do both work and a bit of gaming when I can. Refresh rate is 144 hertz and it's an ultra-wide monitor that has some productivity upsides but also comes with a few downsides as well. You can fit a few windows on it comfortably making video editing really easy. The downside is you're sometimes forced to play games in 34 inch resolution and that's not really ideal. I prefer a 16 by 9 aspect ratio when it comes to gaming because it fits the screen better and is more immersive. Also the colors on this monitor aren't the most accurate so you do need to be a bit careful when it comes to video editing or doing photo editing work. For the keyboard I am using the Newfie Halo 75 in white. It's using the baby kangaroo switch from Gator on and they're built a bit stiff but it feels great for gaming. I chose a 75% keyboard because I prefer having the function keys especially when it comes to gaming where those extra keybinds can come in handy. Oh and here's a quick sound test. It also helps when editing work and 3D modeling as well. Those extra keys really improve productivity, but it's still not as big as a full-size keyboard, which could take up too much space in my opinion. For the mouse, I'm currently using the Logitech G305 gaming mouse, which is the budget version of the G Pro. It can pretty much do everything a G Pro can, and it even uses the same sensors. It's just double the weight, but I think it's incredible for the price. I managed to get off Amazon for just $50. Aside from the plants, I have these shelves which hold some artwork that we got from this plate. These plants really make my desk setup pop. Next to my desk, I also have a fiddle leaf plant and another climbing monstera on the ground over there. I think having these plants also improve my focus and inspire me, while also just adding a very calming vibe to the setup itself. Decorating my setup in this way gives me a workspace that I actually want to work in. And that's actually one of the reasons why we even start a minimal desk setup. We wanted to give people inspiration so that they can build a space that they actually want to work in and help them hit their goals in productivity. I also use our essential oil humidifier to provide a bit of humidity for the plants, but I can also use essential oils to add a calming fragrance in the office. Ambient lighting is a great way to enhance the look and feel of your workspace. I've created a relaxing ambience for my workspace using multiple light sources with smart features while still keeping it sleek. I use three different light sources to achieve this. The Yeelight Screen Light Pro, the Yeelight Smart Bulb with IKEA Gaffeldown lamps, and the Yeelight Light Strips. The awesome thing is that they all seamlessly connect via the Yeelight app, meaning that I can control the brightness, color, and even set automated scenes whenever I want. By far the coolest feature is using these cheap NFC tags that I can connect to my phone and hide under my desk pad. They let me control all my setup lights by just tapping my phone on the desk pad. Isn't that cool? A monitor light bar is a great addition to any desk setup, especially if you're looking to reduce glare and save desk space. We've tested many monitor light bars and we found that the Xiaomi monitor light bar is the best value for money with an awesome white wireless star. Currently, I'm using the more expensive Yeelight Screen Bar Pro, which is actually based off the original Xiaomi build but with smart functionality. I also use the IKEA Gaffeldown lamp with Yeelight Smart Bulbs. These bulbs are much cheaper than the Philip Hughes but work just as well, so I highly recommend them if you're on a budget. Ambient lighting is important in a workspace because it can improve the overall look and feel of the environment while allowing you to focus for longer without straining your eyes. Keeping a desk tidy and organized is the key to maintaining productivity. At the moment, my cable management isn't the best. I'm waiting for a few bits and pieces to come before I overhaul the entire cable setup. But for now, I have a cable tray at the back that holds most of the cables and the power board. The cable
cable tray is also from Omidesk, but I feel like a cable raceway might be just a bit better. So I might convert it to one later. I'm using the IKEA Trotten for my desk storage solution. It's my favorite office cabinet. It's cheap and it looks good with a very solid construction. I'm lacking some organization trays from for the inside, but I'm about to design some that we can 3D print. So stay tuned for a future video. My biggest tip for keeping your own desk clean and organized is to always have a designated spot for everything. Whether it's your pens, paper, or cables, it's also important to declutter your workspace regularly and to make sure everything is in its place before you leave for the day. As promised at the start of the video, I wanted to reveal a productivity hack that has helped us build MDS from a bedroom side hustle to a full-fledged business. And you might have noticed two products on my desk that I haven't mentioned yet. One of them is my makeshift Pomodoro clock, which I've used to create time blocks where I'm locked in and focusing on smashing out tasks. The Pomodoro technique is a time management technique where you work a set period, like usually 15 minutes, and then take a short break, which allows you to focus for longer periods of time without being distracted. Personally, I prefer the physical cool timer which also matches my setup but I'll also link a few other online timers so you guys can use it too. The other game changer in my productivity has been my physical to-do list system. I designed and 3D printed this after getting inspiration from a few sources. The physical to-do list really helps and folks at Ugmonk have created a whole analog kit around it. I came up with the card idea after seeing Scott John Yu's video on tools that he used to brainstorm ideas. I use black PVC ID cards with liquid chalk markers to write and record tasks to complete. Since there are usually eight hours in a workday, I try to focus on seven tasks for the day, which is why this holder allows me to hold up to seven tasks. At the start of each workday, I think about the things I need to do and list them out onto the card and then slot it in. During the day, I can flick through them like a Rolodex or just have them there to remind me what I still have left to do. The Pomodoro clock can be used to keep each task within a range of 30 to 45 minutes or even 60 minutes for a heavier task. Once I'm done with the task, I can just wipe it clean and just store it at the back or if if I want to keep a record of it, I just put it straight to the back. Sometimes it feels good to go back and see how much work you've actually done. When you're busy and you don't reflect on how much progress you've made, it's easy to burn out. The other cards can also be used in the same way Scott Drawn Yu uses his, which is for brainstorming or storyboarding while being able to visualize and move things around easily. A lot of people always ask what sort of wallpaper I use and how it moves. I use lively wallpapers with rain meter to generate the clock. There will be a tutorial on that coming out soon, so stay tuned. If if you want to build your own minimal setup, I recommend starting with some inspiration, choose a theme and pick an accessory that you like most and create a vibe that you want in your space. Organization and lighting is also super important and I've linked all the products that I'm using in the description below. If you want to see how our setup has evolved from 2022, make sure you check out this video next.